G'day YouTube, this is just a quick brief overview of the latest version of Cinnamon 3.8 on Linux Mint 19. Now I guess starting off, some of the, the more perceptive among you might notice this is actually not Linux Mint, this is indeed Fedora, and the reason why I've got this Fedora distribution up is because uh, Linux Mint 19 isn't quite out yet, which means it's not allowing for Cinnamon to, to show up there in the repositories of Linux Mint 18.3. But if I were to go to a terminal and type in, whoop, double V, not quite, version, we do have Cinnamon 3.8 here, which is exactly what's, uh, what I'll just quickly show you some of the new features. Now, before I quickly get into it, uh, I'll probably mention that a lot of the, the features are actually back-end speed improvements. Uh, optimization, things of that nature, uh, things you can't really necessarily see on the front. But in terms of uh, the front side, the look and feel, which most people are quite interested in, I'll get into that, which includes, uh, I guess starting off, some of the uh, Windows animations are said to be a lot more refined and smoother. I haven't seen a great deal of them yet, but they are hanging around there, here and there, left and right. Uh, also, it adds to the feeling of snappiness when you use them as well, which is good to see. Uh, let's see, it's uh, the icon is uh, re the icons are re uh, redesigned for a more modern look as you can see here and there's something really interesting about this because uh, what they've also done is they've gone ahead and uh, redesigned some of the coordinates of the icons and the widgets to fit exactly on pixels to give it more of a crisp clear design and as you can see here it's quite crisp and clean there now this is of course uh, a slightly themed fedora version so it's not going to be exactly the same as the this the cinnamon release on linux mint 19 but for the most part the functionality and a lot of the looks and feels are the same there as well um, another thing of course it's using the uh, the nemo uh, file manager so here we go that's uh, 3.8 so nothing new there except for the fact that it is a slightly updated version uh, it is said I haven't quite used it but the the search functionality is said to be uh, much more optimized for speed and just simplified easier to use so that's good to see documents yeah that shows up that's nice so that's actually not too bad there as well uh, let's see they've uh, they've cleaned up the OS notifications so you know the ones that uh, pop up on the side there uh, just to uh, I mean it's it's not really something I can show you straight off the bat but what they've done is uh, they've cleaned it up so when you click on them you actually go to the uh, the source of the notification as opposed to the the parent level app which is good to see as well the the sounds have been updated to go allow to go to 150 percent on uh, not this version but on the, the Linux Mint Cinema version it will uh, which is uh, better because then you won't have to go into the system or the sound settings in order to fix that change that up there uh, let's see, that would be uh, pretty much it. So there's a few little tweaks and redesigns. The, the crisp, clean look of it is probably the main thing that I find that uh, is the best thing about the, the updated release. Uh, like I said, a whole host, a whole flurry of back-end uh, updates and things, particularly in regards to optimization, speed optimizations. I have seen over the years that uh, Simon has been getting a bit slower, so it is good to see that... Uh, it's uh, it's they've been doing a bit of back end work there as well. So super quick video. Cheers, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed. Uh, just a super quick, brief overview, uh, completely unscripted, and just uh, giving you guys a show of it. So cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed.